family arrived here in about 1912, um, where it was opened up as sheep country. It was fully timbered, they rung bark it, cleared it all out. From the 80s, late 80s, we moved into to cattle and started the time rotational grazing. There's been five generations, Hugo will be the fifth generation coming through. I've grown up, it's quite nostalgic for me, um, just thinking back, so it's, I do have quite a connection to it and hope to have it in future years. When we heard about the opportunities for soil sequestration of carbon and monetisation of a diff different income stream, that's what drew the interest up. And it was all via Terry and Carbon Link. Well, as far as agriculture goes, it provides about half a living. Carbon farming for, for this operation and for me is something that is a must for us to maintain any viability. There is no way that I would have been able to do it myself. The management side of things from Carbon Link has been nothing short of fantastic. I do what I do well, I put in fence posts, I run wire, I plumb in water troughs, I leave the rest of the administration totally up to carbon link. My father's seen seven droughts, I've seen five. It's gotten tough to hold a livestock business together. Carbon farming will take the pressure off and make it much more viable. When we get a bit of rain after a dry spell, we tend to go grass very quickly. You don't have to spend more money on feed for cattle. You're saving a bit more money and you've also just got better soil all around. Regenerative agriculture is the first thing you've got to be into. You've got to want to leave your land in a better state than what you've got it in now. To do that, you've got to sort of live and breathe improvement in health of the system. The grass production, uh, the animal health is more important than the, the development of acues. The grass will lose its photosynthetic capacity as it matures, if not grazed, and then the sequestration of carbon will stop. So the regular grazing with the cattle drives the system. Without them, none of the system would work. The motivation is to make our farmer healthier, better environment for the next generation.